Michael. To go back to the question of um, who says that suffering is bad, like, sorry, that, that, that's the reason I keep laughing. I keep thinking of uh, Bill O'Reilly um, uh, with Neil deGrasse Tyson saying, who put the moon there? Like, it's, it's the same are kind you, of Are you equating we with Bill O'Reilly? Yeah, I'm you're the, off now. You're done. <laughs> yeah. Do it live. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. It's the, you're, you're the Bill O'Reilly of, mo of moral philosophy. We'll put it that way. <laughs> or you're O'Reillying the argument. Uh, asking who, it's like, it's like the same question as, uh, like who said that five plus five equals 10? I'm sorry, Michael, if you're going to criticize me in such horrific terms, I think you need to, you need to do a little bit more to justify your position than say, who said five plus five equals 10. I, I accept. I fully no, I, I put my hands up for it? weeks and months. No, it's the same I'm a object. philosophical that, illiterate. You called me the Bill O'Reilly. Come on. That, you've got, to, you've got to do is... better to justify it than that. <laughs> well, the five no, no, you... and the five <laughs> objects are equal to 10, whether we're there to observe them or not. Who? No, they're not. If we're not there to observe suffering, right? If there's no perception of it, who's making the value judgment? There's no value judgment in five plus, well, besides the, the objective value. Look, there's, there's, no, people, there's no there's value. There's people posting in the chat already, DPR O'Reilly. This is a <laughs> you, You're going to have to justify yourself, Michael. Well, I, I just have to, I, I create If the, the best you can do is five plus five, five equals out. ten, I'm not convinced. No, I, well, <laughs> but that's uh, what I'm pointing out is the, the issue is that you're not convinced, and you should be. Like, if you can answer for me if why, like, who said, like, who put the moon there and who, who made five plus five equal ten, then it would be the same answer for who made uh, suffering a bad which, thing. Which question are you referring to that I put to you? Um, Maybe well, actually, you were, your, your faculties <laughs> were too limited that you didn't understand the grammar of my question. Mm, maybe. Uh, no, it was the central question of who it is that defines these properties. It is, it is, subject, it is a circular argument because you're assuming that it has to have someone to do it, which is precisely the matter that's at stake. I'm sorry, but it is, it is pretty much an amateur in the system. Uh, it, uh, what, what he's, I want to clarify here. What he's saying is that you already accept that suffering is bad. And then you say, who is it that says that suffering is bad? Which is sort of, to, to no, anybody I who's... I, I, what I'm doing is questioning how you define suffering. <sighs> well, um, s suffering in general... I'm sorry if that's we don't, a we don't need a, question, but... Something, hey. something to clarify is we don't need a... Before I go into this, we don't need a, a, a complete clear-cut definition of what is suffering in order to understand that running people over with your car causes suffering. Would you at least agree with that? Yes, I'm happy with that. So, uh, clearly, I don't need to objectively completely clear-cutly define what suffering is and neither in sam harris by the way and this is my answer he doesn't do that either and goes ahead and admits this is not supposed to be an end-all be-all to um the moral question of what is good and what is bad I i'm simply offering this as conversation and you can respond how you like and I have, and apparently it's in a manner not dissimilar to Bill O'Reilly, but there we go. Uh, I have to say, Concordance kindly has reminded me of the time. We're overrun by 25 minutes. I would really like this conversation to carry on. Um, and uh, don't worry, I have, I have no problem being insulted um, or criticised or questioned. Uh, the Bill O'Reilly was bloody below the belt there, Michael. I'm going to have <laughs> words with you after the show about that. Um, I think we'll do, if, if, if we can do it this way, um, Big Lundy, uh, it'd be really interesting if we could have you back on a future show. Um, as I say, we've got, um, and this is for the benefit also of those who were not here at the beginning of the show, we have um, a theoretical bullshit AC grading and potholer um, lined up. None of them have actually confirmed um, any particular date, but we're hoping to get them on the next three shows. And it may be 
appropriate to have you back on on one of those shows so we can uh, certainly discuss that and in fact if you stay on the call uh, once we once we finish the show we can we can talk further sure. um i think though given the time we will have to wrap it up there but i'm always keen to give the um callers and the panelists the, their final words so uh, jr you've been somewhat mute and without any form of disrespect um i'm, I'm going to remove you because uh, your call was in relation to something somewhat different so um we'll take big michael uh no that's unfair we'll take concordance michael and give you the last word big and as i say once we stop the show please stay on the line and we'll we'll talk about future shows concordance uh, I don't have much to say. Uh, it's been a good discussion. We ought to kick Thunder and RN off uh, <laughs> on a regular basis to see what kind of discussions we get. And uh, it's their fault for not being here. Absolutely. And again, if people would like to comment, you can do it on uh, the YouTube. It's uh, it's actually, if you've got a, a point to make, uh, it's better to go to the link on the um, banner to the website and send one of us a message from that. that does actually guarantee that we will receive it. Uh, so if you've got any comments or suggestions to make, please do that. Michael. Oh, I think kicking Aaron and Thunder off on a regular basis would be excellent. I, well, I take, think that take would it. be true whether <laughs> true whether we could apprehend the truth or not. Is it objectively correct to kick that? Oh, no, stop. Big. Big. Um, <laughs> your last words, Big. I just want to say that to anybody who is still questioning Sam Harris's formula formulation, I just want to say that uh, so long as you accept that there are good actions and bad actions and, and answers to moral questions that are good and answers that are not as good as others, then I don't see sufficient reason to throw the baby out with the bathwater, so to speak, when it comes to Sam Harris. I have to, I have to come back very briefly before we... Ask Tony to close the show. I have not said that. I have argued whether <laughs> he is describing can be correctly described as objectivity. On that note, on that bombshell, we will close the show. Can I thank very much Tony, who again is working away behind the scenes to bring this show to you in all its glory, high quality, high definition, and superb auto quality. Thank you very much, Tony. Uh, could I ask you to pull the pl plug on the show? We will be back in two weeks with possibly potholer, possibly AC grading, or possibly theoretical bullshit, and probably Big Lundy as well. Take care, everyone. See you in two weeks. <laughs>